Hello everyone and welcome to my video. In this video I'm going to be teaching you all there is to know about the rule of 4 and 2. So what is it? The rule of 4 and 2 is a simple calculation which is to work out our approximate chances of winning the hand by the turn or river. In this example we have a flush draw as well as two over cards. So if we assume our opponents have the top pair on the board, which is an 8, we can beat them by finding any of the remaining hearts in the deck, or any 10 or king. There are 52 cards in the deck and 4 suits. Therefore, there are 13 hearts in total in the deck. We hold 2 and the board has 2, leaving a remaining 9 which are available to us. It is true that players may have been dealt these, but as we do not know this, we have to assume they are still available. There are 4 kings and four tens in the deck. We hold one of each, leaving a possible six card which can assist us. So in total we have 15 outs, should the opponent have a pair of eights. An out is a card in the deck we believe that shall give us the winning hand should it fall. The rule of four and two simply is that if we wish to work out the chances of our hand hitting or improving, you simply multiply by the number of streaks to come i.e. the turn or the river. If you wish to calculate it by the end of the hand and you are on the flop, you simply multiply by 4. If you wish to work out just the next street, you multiply by 2. The more outs you have, the less exact this simple calculation becomes, but pros and many others say that it is near enough. So with our example, if we wish to work out our chances by the river, it would simply be 15 times 4. 60% or on the turn 15 times 2 30% the true calculation is done by working out the number of cards left in the deck 47 2 in our hand 3 on the board then 15 over 47 times 100 equals a chance of finding on the turn 31.91% and multiply this by 2 for the chance of it coming on either the turn and the river giving 63.82%. As you can see the simple calculation is damn near close and also it's a lot easier to do in your head for a quick and simple calculation. And that about sums up the rule of 4 and 2. Thanks for watching. Please give a like if you found it useful and subscribe for more. Thanks guys.